guys, I'm Jess. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a very fall themed pumpkin spicy Thanksgiving, you know, feels very warm fall look for you guys. It's this look right here. I've got my fall sweater on. I'll show you more in the video <laughs> once we get going. It says sweater, fall leaves, pumpkin spice, cozy nights. Had to have my pumpkin spice sweater on to make our pumpkin spice look here. Um, got my child in the background with me. She'll always be there the whole video. She can't leave my side. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I had so much fun making this look using a palette. I forgot I loved so much. Glad I broke this baby back out. So if you are interested in seeing how I made this very Thanksgiving ready makeup look, then just keep watching. So as the weather is cooled off, um, it's getting colder and colder here. Um, I have been loving the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. Um, this is a repurchase, as you can tell, it's <laughs> nice and new. Um, I picked up another one during the VIB sale. This is a Sephora exclusive. It's not one you can buy at Ulta, um, unfortunately, because I like Ulta's points a little better. <laughs> but um, I love this stuff. It does not break me out. It does have um, a little bit of a tint to it. Let me show you guys. So as you can see here, it does have a little bit of a, um, like a skin tony tint, but I find once you rub it out, you can't tell. It just is very nice and hydrating. There is, however, a kind of like a fresh tropical -y scent to it. Uh, it's very minimal and it does dissipate. I am so extremely sensitive to scents. And I don't find that this aggravates my skin, one, or my allergies, too. Um, a lot of times, heavily scented products make me a little sneezy um, <laughs> or make my eyes watery or both. Um, but once you rub it in, I find that it goes away and it's just a very, very light, fresh scent. Um, so it's not overpowering. So... I've been testing out the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills The Luminous Foundation. I do have it in two shades because this is me and I just don't know how to find one shade and stick with one shade. I always get multiple shades and combine them to make my perfect shade because why can't I just be a normal person and get one? I don't know. But I do have shade 100N and 130N. They were probably upside down for you. <laughs> um, I do find that 130 is too dark alone. It goes on looking like it's going to match me. Then it doesn't. Um, and 100N um, has been just ever so slightly too light. So I do like more of this and then like a tiny little squirt of this one. Mix it all together for my face. I'm going to have to do a review on this one. Um, I'm still testing it out and seeing how I like it the best though, but so far, so good. Hydrating. Nice. That's what I'm going in with. And then I just mix them together to make my perfect concoction and put it all over my face. You know, I always just think this is like the best look and we should really just stop taking so much time to blend in foundation and just walk around like this, you know. Then I'm just going to take my beauty blender. This is clean, but it's getting on its last edge and I just wipe my hand on it. So <laughs> it doesn't look clean, but I promise you it's clean. I will clean them every time. Very important. You're using it wet, like clean it every time. That's gross. But then I'm just going to pound that in my face. Going in next with the Becca Under Eye Brightener Corrector. I do really like this and I do find that it's super like an added hydration boost under there. Like obviously I have my eye creams on, but I find that this is like strangely hydrating as well. Um, so when you put your concealer on top of it, it looks even more 
youthful, if that's a good word for it, but I just used my fingers in it. And pat it under my eyes. I only use the tiniest amount. And it just helps to brighten up that darkness that I have under there. I really like it. But yeah, I like to use my fingers with that one. I don't find brush or beauty sponge is the best fit with that, in my opinion. But find the warmth of your fingers just looks better. Trust me on this one. Then going in with my concealer on top of that, the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, the Born This Way one. Um, I am in the shade Marshmallow. I find this is a great match for me. Plop that under the eyes. And I find that this is hydrating enough that I don't have to like mix it with more hydrating. Um, also using my Beauty Blender, I use the pointy end for this. Um, actually, I use the butt first to cover up those pimples between my forehead because my skin is hating me right now. My skin just freaks out like every change of season. Like, is your skin the same way? Like, the minute it gets colder, my skin freaks out, breakouts, gets dry, flaky. Just not a good look. But it's starting to tame down. I've got my winter skincare going again. So we're getting a hold on things and just not quite there yet. And as you can see, this concealer is very much like a my skin tone concealer. I don't go crazy, crazy light with my concealers. I think it just kind of emphasizes the fact that I'm no longer 20. Let me make sure. Yeah, we're good. I always bring the extras up over my eyes to kind of prime them. Going in with the trusty Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. So good if you are super fair. So good. Does not darken your... I was going to say your mascara. Wow, Jessica. It does not darken your concealer, which is so nice. I always just spin my brush and tap off the excess. I don't like to go in with like tons. And I also set my lids with it because it's just what I do. I only go in with like the slightest amount. I don't find that the Born This Way concealer really needs that, but I like to do just right under my lashes because mascara will not transfer as easily when I do that because I get lots of transfer otherwise. I Going in with brows, the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade one, I believe. Just kidding, I lied, 2.5. Now, I picked up this one to try. I mentioned I was going to try it in one of the, my videos. Um, nothing really beats the Anastasia shade. Like, love the formula of this, like I've mentioned. Um, I still do find that it's just slightly too warm on my skin. If you are somebody who finds that everything pulls warm on you, still warm. But pretty good shade match otherwise. It's just um, warmer than I like on myself. Whereas the Anastasia Brow Rose and uh, Taupe does not pull warm whatsoever. So recommend that over this, but I've got this, so I'm gonna use it. Go fast forward through this. So brows are done. I'm not sure if you can tell, it's just a little slightly warm. Still works, but Love the formula. Wish it was the color of the Anastasia one and taupe though, because that does not pull warm at all on my skin tone, but oh well, I will uh, get over it. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the um, Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Such a good one. Um, I know this is like used to be super raved about. Um, if you never picked it up, I recommend. 
um, but I don't recommend buying it full price. I see it all the time on Sephora and Ulta, 50% off. So wait until you see it on sale. Don't ever pay full price. If this is something like you're interested in getting um, and you haven't gotten already, I know it's a little bit of an older palette. Um, I've even seen it on, seen it on Macy's 50% off. So never, like I feel like every other month it's 50% off somewhere. So check Ulta, Sephora, Macy's. You'll find it 50% off somewhere within a month or two. I promise. <laughs> if not, maybe right now. I don't know. I haven't checked, but it's a goodie. Um, and it's very warm tone, so it's going to be lots of fun today for our, you know, pumpkin spice fall Thanksgiving theme look. You know, got our cozy uh, pumpkin spice shirt on. Did I show you guys this? So cute. So sweaters, the fall leaves, pumpkin spice, cozy nights. Love it. Ooh, I just like cramped my foot. <laughs> I need more water today. Hold the lace. Let me drink my water. Anyway, back to makeup. Wow, I'm on a tangent today. Squirrel. <laughs> Alrighty. First, I'm going to take my Morphe M504 into this shade here called Weekender. It's just kind of a neutral toned transition shade and these shadows I do find up like pick up a ton so tap off the excess thank me later you will regret it if you don't at least I always do and I've already set my lids so keep that in mind I like to set my lids first but if you do not if you are brave all the power to you I'm not brave like that so uh I said everything and slowly build up this shade in the outer corner and in the crease. And I'm going to blow this one out. So even like above the crease, approaching my brow bone, but not on my brow bone, if that makes sense. So I've just blown that all over for a good wash of transition shade. Then I'm going to go in to Riff, which is the shade right here. It's a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. Um, on the same M504 brush, tap off the excess. Why do I just like want to break out into song all the time? I even have my students. <laughs> oh my goodness, cutest thing. Um, I break out into song a little too much when I'm teaching. <laughs> um, fun fact. Uh, so now when, um, they are reading to me, they're like, can I sing it to you? <laughs> it is the cutest thing, but then I'm like, is that a good thing? <laughs> but then I let them cause it's adorable. And you know, why not have fun when you're reading? Right? Reading's more fun that way. I'm keeping this on the outer V again and in the crease, just a little bit more precise than um, the first transition shade. Next, I'm going in with an even more precise blending brush. As you can see, this one is a little bit smaller and precise. This is my Sigma E40. And I'm going to start going in with some orange. This beautiful orange shade here to bring in that little pumpkin spice fall Thanksgiving vibe we're going for. It is called Baja. Again, tap. And I'm keeping this um, even more precise in the crease and on the outer V. Obviously, because we're going in with a more precise blending brush. We do not want any fallout or craziness happening because I did my base first. Why I did that first? I don't know. I usually like to do my eyes first and then I don't have to worry about being like sloppy and quick and messy like I like to be, but we're gonna take our time today because I wasn't thinking. This shade is just so fall. I find this palette is so fall. Very richly warm toned goldeny vibes. Such a good fall palette. 
and just keep building it up like that to my little heart's content. Maggie, everyone, she's in her little Christmas type sweatshirt. She gets very, very cold. Going to add the slightest bit of depth with Punk, which is that very warm, deep brown shade. On my Sigma E25, I'm going to pick it up on like the flat edge. I don't know if you can kind of tell it's flat and then it goes slightly rounded. I don't know. It's a great brush. Must have brush. Um, I'm going to pick it up just like on the, the tip of it. And tap it off and slowly just build that just on the outer V just to kind of deepen up that orangey shade and blend it together so it's like a deep orange. Just on that outer V area. And then I'm taking my Sigma E40, which is the shade we had the orange on. I'm not adding any more product onto it. I'm just going to ever so slightly kind of in circles, blend that up into the crease. To combine those colors. I'm putting the lightest pressure, which is why I'm holding my ferrule at the end. Um, the further down on the ferrule you hold, the less pressure. Um, so it gets a nice, very light blend and we don't wash that color away. Then going to go in with Accelerate, which is this um, shimmery orangey color that looks really nice with Baja. Even if you just want to do a wash of this, um, on the lid and this and the crease that looks really nice as well but I'm going to put this on the lid and then we'll probably tap it I like to use shimmery -ish shades with my fingers so I've picked that up on my finger and I'm just going to start patting it on the lid all over this one is not as shimmery as some of the other shades in the palette but I do find it has just the right amount I'm then going to take Stranded, which is this um, warm goldy shade um, with a different finger and pop that just in the center to bring light to the center and kind of add that foamy effect of a pumpkin spicy latte, I don't know. Just popping that in the center to bring light in the center and sort of blend it out, but not like completely. Just brings such a fun pop of light. Whereas this one just looks a little bit flat. This one you can tell has just a little pop of light back into it. I'm going to go right back in with that, not that one, my Sigma E um, 40 and just do a slight blend. There's no product on it and other than, you know, what's been left over. So there's no harsh edge between that um, shimmery, those two shimmers, and the mattes. I'm then going to pick up this shade Breakaway here. It's a very, not matte, but not like satin sheeny color either. Uh, just the slightest amount of sheen on a travel size E25, the exact same brush, just a shortened ferrule. I'm just picking that up on the tip tapping it off, going to run that under the brow bone. And I do like that this one is actually light enough for my skin tone. I find so many of the highlight colors are not highlights on me, um, but I love that this one is. And as you can see, it's just a slight amount of glow without being like that icy, whoa, you know? You know what I'm talking about? You know that look, yeah, you know. Going to also pop that shade on the inner corner. Actually, I think I'm gonna mix it with the stranded shade that we did that little pop in the center. I'm gonna mix that and the stranded for, I just went back and forth, back and forth. Going to go back in with my Morphe M504 on that original uh, Weekender shade. 
and Rip. I'm going to combine these two. I'm gonna go just tap my brush back and forth and ever so slightly add a little bit um, above where we have that orange Baja shade just to kind of blend it back together with that shimmer and tone it down just ever so slightly so it all dissipates into the nothingness. If you are as messy as I am, if you are not somebody who layers on the concealer, we can easily add just a slight bit more concealer to clean that edge up. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. I'm gonna go back in with the exact same concealer the tiniest, like I'm brushing off the excess, the tiniest little bit, make your little line. This only works with more medium full coverage concealers. Don't recommend with, you know, your light concealers. Then go back in with your beauty sponge and be very careful to just stay on that line and blend it in. That's my way of cleaning up when I can't, you know, take my makeup wipe and wipe everything off. And it looks just so much better. Because I like to be messy with my makeup, um, I've become really good at cleaning up my mistakes. Well, I wouldn't even say it's a mistake. I just get sloppy sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean every time I do my makeup. And that just uh, hides any of those little mistakes you did. Pro tip, just kidding, I'm not a pro, but sloppy person tip, okay? Going to go in with Weekender. And then we'll probably deepen that up. But to begin with, I'm going to take my Sigma Exact Blend E32 and into that Weekender shade right under the lower lash line. Again, ooh, wrong color. Just kidding. Oops. <laughs> Weekender, continue to build that up. And I always connect them to my outer corner. Why do I keep, I keep wanting to go into Blaze, which is right next to Weekender. I keep doing that. Luckily, they're like the same color. One's just like, obviously a shimmer and I don't want that on my lower lash line. Where, oh, where has my little brush gone? Where, oh, where can you be? Okay, I lost my little tiny brush. There it is. Found it, just kidding. Crisis averted. Uh, my Morphe M213, which is like an even smaller version of that original brush we are going in with the lower lash line. I love these two for the lower lash line. One's more expensive, obviously, at Sigma, but softer. This one also does an amazing job. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Riff, which is the second color we used on the lids. Well, not the lids, in the crease. Just a little bit deeper and warmer. Popping off, as always. And I'm going to keep this more on the like to outer outer half, I should say. Don't you love when certain shadows just really make your eyes go like pop? Yeah, having that moment, feeling myself. My eyes are really matching my sweatshirt and I'm kind of living for it. <laughs> All right, so up next, I am going to take a little flat like liner brush. Um, this is my Sigma E15, my flat definer. It's just a flat little liner brush. And just do like a full liner. I'm going to go into, hmm, not going in with jet. I'm going to keep it very, very, very brown. And I'm going with this deepest, deepest brown. Is anyone ready for Thanksgiving break? Didn't even tell y'all what I'm doing. So I'm taking that <laughs> good as gone shade in on this, tapping off the excess and just doing like a full liner. I don't go all the way in um, to the inner corner with it. Just kind of keep it on the outer half to 
thicken up those lashes before I go in with mascara and it just adds a faux thickening effect. I really like to do it with sh uh, shadows when I'm too lazy to go in with a liner, which is almost every day. Eyes are done. Gonna put on some mascara and be right back. Mascara is on. I've been loving this mascara. This is one mascara. This is not my normal like go in with one outer corner one. This is one mascara. The Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I've got this little um, obviously trial size from Sephora. Y'all, I've been loving it and it doesn't smudge. It's not even waterproof. Like, and it doesn't get all over and flake. It doesn't flake. Like, have I found my new Holy Grail mascara? Because I only have to go in with one. But why is it $29? Why did I not pick it up during the VRB sale? I was trying not to spend too much money during that sale. That's why. But I'm going to have to buy it when this is out. Just side note. So good. I mean, obviously, like, do you see that? Awesome. Going to set my brows with the Make Me Brow by Essence in shade Blondie Brows. Yeah, I was right. 01 Blondie Brows. I really like this one. I might like the Benefit one just slightly better, but this is like $3. Very comparable. I like to wipe off the excess and it comes up with a little bit too much. But I, only, I like to set my brows after I do my, my eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm like, what do I like to do it after? <laughs> I like to do it after. I don't know why I'm weird like that. I just find like if any powders get in it, like once you set them, then it just kind of gets rid of any of those eyeshadow powders that might have like floated into them. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it makes a difference. Okay, so that's what I do. Wow, I felt like that was like very, uh, very aggressive. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a mood today. I've had like a lot of coffee. I'm like really wide awake. I had a really good workout this morning. I'm like, feeling good. I'm like almost a Thanksgiving break. So I'm like really excited because I get five days off while including the weekend. So very exciting. Ooh, then I'm going to use the very expensive but also pretty Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Um, this is in the fair medium shade. I really like this bronzer. Everyone says they use it as like a, high, a contour. No, no. If you are fair, it is a bronzer. A very neutral toned, great bronzer. No like oranginess about it. Especially like I don't want to go in with something orangey when I've got orange all over the lids. You know, we got to kind of kind of balance it out. Um, but I'm going in with my favorite bronzer brush. The Real Techniques. Blush brush. Why don't I know this? This is, I, I literally have like three of them. They're my favorite. The Real Techniques blush brush is the best bronzer brush of life and it's drugstore. So <laughs> I just tap that in. I don't know why I always tap off the excess. It's just like habit, but this one you can really, like it's a very light wash. So you build this one up which I prefer something that's less pigmented, at least for face products, because then I don't have to worry about like going in with too much, you know, and having that like stripe of stuff all over your face, you know? I prefer bronzers and blushes and stuff to be lighter pigmented and just really nicely built up. So yeah, I mean, as you can see on Fair Skin Tone, this is not a contour shade. Don't let the name of the product fool you. It's not a contour. Maybe if you are deeper complected or less um, 
I'm very neutral cool, so things do pull, do pull more warm on me. Um, so maybe if you're not as cool toned as I am, this would pull a little warmer or a little more cool toned on you, but it's very hard to find something that's actually a contour on my skin tone, if that makes sense. So for highlight, the trusty Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Banked Powder in Highlight 01. It looks very boring and nothing in the pan, but on the face, you watch. Uh, on my Sigma Spotlight Duster F37, I just kind of go ham with this and you can't, like, this never looks like powder. There's no like back pigment. I should say on my skin, skin tone because it blends in with my skin tone. It just gives that like lit from within glow. And I always put it like on my brow bone. I love to just in that C shape have all the glow there. Going to go in with my favorite blush color of life, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Party 12 hour blush. This is, um, the regular size is available at Sephora. I just got in this in a little, little birthday set at Sephora. So it's like the little travel size, trial size. I don't know, one or the other. Um, but these powders will literally last you forever. So I have no reason to buy the full size when this is going to last me. Like I could use it every day for a year and still not finish it. You know, one of those. Um, and I go in with a denser blush brush. My it's Cause Medics Live Beautifully by Ulta, number 227, Flawless Blush, Flawless Blush. Um, and I always smile, put it on. And it just gives the perfect, it's literally the perfect blush color. Like if you're my skin tone and you haven't tried this, oh my goodness, run to Sephora and get it because it's perfect. All right, so base is done. I'm gonna go in with another Charlotte Tilbury because I can't stop using it. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat in the shade, or the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Sheet in the shade Pillow Talk. As you can tell, like it's getting small, like favorite lip pencil of life for like the past year now. I'm gonna line my lips with it. And along with that is the lipstick. It's such a good, warm nude. That's a deeper nude. The Matte Revolution, um, Charlotte Tilbury, obviously, and Pillow Talk, the matching lipstick. I love this formula, you guys. It's so expensive, but in my opinion, it's so worth it. They're so long wearing but yet they don't dry out your lips. I think I wanna add just a little bit of a gloss on top. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Just like a little dab in the center. As always, gonna finish off with the MAC Pepper and Prime Fix Plus to uh, douse my skin in and it just adds even more of a glow because we cannot look glowy and sweaty enough okay when you have dry skin you feel me you know you know so here we have the finished makeup look very fall themed pumpkin spicy very thanksgiving appropriate look I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, eat lots of food as much as I do. Devour all the pumpkin pie and pumpkin -y goodness as I always do. Hence the makeup theme we've got going on. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it and I hopefully I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.